Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and guess what I just got done watching? Lethal Weapon. Yes, the reboot that Fox has made, the TV show, it's based on the original, the classic Lethal Weapon, right? This is the pilot episode. If you're wondering, why did you even bother? Why did you watch this first episode? Because the trailers look like shit. It was pretty obvious from the casting and whatnot that this was going to be a train wreck of a show. I decided to watch it only because I didn't grow up with the Lethal Weapon movies. I recently watched them just a couple months ago for the very first time. I reviewed them on my channel, and I loved those movies. I did. I, I might have been late to the game, a late bloomer, but I just connected to those movies so much. I love them that I had to see too much of my curiosity to see just how bad the show got. But I also wanted to keep an open mind. I did. The beginning of this episode, we see Martin Riggs, who this time is played by Clayne Crawford. We see him with his partner chasing down these guys, and his wife, Miranda, calls him. She's pregnant. She's driving to the hospital, which you kind of... I think anybody watching knew where this was going. Not just because of the movie, but just because it was so cliched. Like, oh, she's going to get hit and, and die. I will give them credit for at least showing Miranda, showing her as a character for all, be it a minute. Because uh, the movies didn't do that. But it's just like... I couldn't find myself caring about any of this, about her dying and, and Riggs being upset because it's just, it, it was what it was. We didn't get, if you're going to bring the character Miranda in there, if you're going to cast an actress to be her, give us some more scenes. Have us develop a slight relationship between them so I can at least feel this moment when it happens. Maybe the first half of the episode show their relationship. But no, they didn't do that. So, you jump ahead six months later, and we meet Damon Wayans, who plays Roger Murtaugh. It's his 50th birthday. And I was looking at Damon Wayans and going, 50? Really? I'm not really buying it. So I looked up, and he's actually, in real life, 56. So, yeah, he, he's, he's of age. I guess I it's more of a compliment to the guy, because I just didn't think he looked that old. But the thing about his... Murta is that I don't buy it. I don't buy this guy as being a cop for 20 plus years. He doesn't look that old or that rugged. Like Danny Glover, he looked gruff. He looked like he's been through some shit. He looked like he was too old for this shit. And and I just didn't buy that from, from Damon Wayans because he kind of had too much energy. There was some scenes of him being goofy and trying to be funny, trying to make people laugh. And it wasn't working, by the way. I didn't laugh once during this episode. And the comedy has to be there as well. Leave the Weapon is just as funny as it is engaging, as it is thrilling, as it is just great writing. All of that has to connect. And if the comedy is lacking, then you're just sitting there watching these awkward scenes of people trying to be funny, like Damon Wayans did. But let's get to when Riggs and Murtaugh meet because that's supposed to be a special moment, right? A moment where it's like, okay, these guys are going to be great together. Well, on this episode, they decided to have a bank robbery go on and Riggs just walks into the bank with a bunch of pizza boxes. And so I guess this is supposed to be funny, but also it's supposed to show that Riggs doesn't care if he lives or dies. And, and it's just, it kind of just falls apart right from there. I'm sitting here like, wow, you guys, such a missed opportunity. I so don't buy any chemistry at all between this Riggs and this Murtaugh. Damon Wayans and Clayne Crawford, I mean, I'm not going to like tear apart their acting or anything, but it's just, there's, the chemistry is lacking. No chemistry. And also, some of the other characters... We have Jordana Brewster as the doctor. She's not playing the Rene Russo part. She's playing the psychiatrist that Mel Gibson constantly would joke around and make fun and, and they just had it back and forth through all the movies. I guess that's who she's playing. Random because I don't really buy Jordana Brewster as a doctor. 
or psychiatrist, but okay, she's here. Now, the actual sort of plot of the episode is they see this guy who it looks like he committed suicide, but he didn't. So they're trying to figure it out. They go to his place of work and they find a suspect and they have a chase scene with him. Lethal Weapon is known for their great chase scenes, car chase scenes. And this chase scene, they ended up on a racing track. And I thought, wow, lame as fuck. And that kind of sums up this whole episode. Lame as fuck. The writing's lame, the, the chemistry is lame, lacking. The action's lame. They're trying to make it exciting by throwing in this rap music that really doesn't fit. And it's just, it's awkward. And then when you get to the very end, this whole plot was boring. When you get to the very end, and Riggs handcuffs Murtaugh because he's like, I don't want you to come with me. I don't want you to die for your family. And so he goes to try to save this kidnapped kid with no plan. I know he doesn't care if he dies, but what about this kid? What was his plan to save this kid's life? He didn't have a plan. It wasn't until Murtaugh came in, came in with the car and helped him kill everybody, because if he didn't do that, what would have happened? <laughs> this is, like, I, I don't care about these characters. I don't want to see what's going to happen next. I'm not coming back for next week's episode. I, I'm not. Unless people say, hey, I, I please keep watching and reviewing because they want to see me rant and rave about it, fine, but if you don't care, then please, I don't mind. I don't want to keep watching this. I don't. There's nothing here for me. There's nothing interesting about really any of this going on. This show is a some old bullshit. Man, this some old bullshit. It's not making me angry enough to go full fuck you, but like if I grew up with the Lethal Weapon movies, if I loved them even more than I already do, I probably would go that far. It's just very underwhelming, very lame, very forgettable. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you saw this episode. Did you like it more than I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Do you agree, disagree? Let's talk about it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!